Hello viewers, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Dr. Jasut. Kindly don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that when I upload any video, you will be notified. Today's video is about dental fluorosis. Dental fluorosis is a condition that uh, changes the appearance of teeth enamel in children. This one is a result of uh, too much fluoride uh, intake. And this one can occur in any child from birth to 28 years when their teeth are still erupting. Uh, then we go to the causes. Causes, uh, causes of, dental, of dental fluorosis comes where uh, there is too much uh, fluoride. Like in our communities, they are, the water there is normally added fluoride because fluoride always help us fight the cavities that form in our teeth. But when it is too much, it uh, becomes harmful to our teeth. Symptoms. How can you know that your child is developing dental fluorosis? Number one, you may not even uh, realize because the, when it is milked, Uh, you, uh, you will see some white spots on the teeth, which uh, sometimes is very hard to recognize because uh, you will, uh, the white spots are the, the same as the color of teeth. But when it is severe, you will notice because the teeth will appear uh, brown in color. Uh, the other one will see some holes or pits on the surface of the teeth. The other one is it may even cause permanent damage to the teeth. So please, uh, that's why I normally emphasize it's good to go for checkups. Uh, then we go to prevention. How can you prevent dental fluorosis? This one can uh, be prevented at home uh, when by a caregiver or a parent should um, use a very small size of a toothpaste. Like in three years and below, you should use a very, very small piece, uh, sized uh, toothpaste like that of a grain of maybe a rice. And from in uh, uh, three and above, they can use a half uh, uh, piece sized. And from six and above years, they can use a full piece. Uh, the other one which I normally encourage parents to do or caregivers is to always encourage their children to spit rather than uh, to swallow. Uh, this one will minimize the amount of fluoride ingested in the children's um, um, body and this one will pre prevent dental fluorosis. Number three that uh, can uh, prevent our children from developing this condition is always to keep uh, the mouthwash and the toothpaste out of reach of, of our children. Uh, because some children normally love uh, eating toothpaste, you know, and they can even uh, drink the mouthwash, but when you keep them out of reach, this one will prevent um, them from uh, ingesting this too much uh, uh, of the fluoride and the, the, the of the toothpaste and the mouthwash and preventing dental fluorosis. Now we come to diagnosis and treatment. Uh, the, as I said earlier, it's hard to know that uh, your child is developing dental fluorosis, but when you take them to a, a dental checkup, the dentist may, will notice all the, these things and uh, better treatment will be will be given to your child. Another thing, they may even realize if there is any uh, dental caries forming, and also uh, the, the, it will be treated. Uh, the other thing, when it is severe, it can be treated by use of uh, filling materials like uh, tooth, uh, like uh, composite, whereby we do masking. Uh, or even uh, we can do crowning, Vin like vineyards. Uh, yeah. And all this will help uh, 
increase your self-esteem because when you are either brown in color or yellow in color or there are some wounds, sometimes it lowers someone's self-esteem. So please, let's emphasize on prevention because prevention is better than cure. Thank you for watching. Please share so that uh, many parents will know how they can uh, prevent their children from getting this dental fluorosis.